Warning, the following game contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Blind. On the last episode, we uh, started going through downtown a little bit more after escaping the restaurant. We went to the, we went to a uh, newspaper office and found a green gem and that went along with a clock that we found slightly before that where we put the blue gem that we had all the way from the Raccoon Police Department and the green gem together to open up a gate to City Hall. Uh, once we got in there, we went to a trolley and found Carlos there with his other squad mates, one that was seriously injured and another one that I'm going to guess is the bad guy of the game. <laughs> Other than, you know, the zombies. But we got a side pack from him. We also found a wrench, so we can go use that to go unhook the hose from the thing where it currently is. But that was about it. There was there was nothing really terrible happening. We didn't really get into many giant fights. There's just a bunch of like minor fights and other things. So this is what I currently have. I have this bronze book because there's a thing over there's a thing back over there that I could possibly get. So we'll find what that what that is. But I was told that I'm about to hit a point of like no return, and I should probably go back to the original spots because if I don't, I could get I could get cut off from certain things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring. I only have one green herb. I'll bring this. I'll just hold on. To, nah, I'll put this stuff away for now. When we come back here, I'll use that. I'll bring that with. Here's here's our plan. Now that we have the lockpick, we can we have access to stuff that we didn't have before. And before we get cut off from oops, before we get cut off from the rest of Uptown, let's go search some of these places. Like I want to see what happened with Mister Mister Hide in a Box now. Because I assume something might have happened. We didn't. We didn't really explore up here at all, like this section of the road, because we just went from here over to here, and then we—that's how we found the shotgun. So we can go explore over here a bit. This door is locked. I wonder if we can unlock it. I was told that I missed a save, like some ink ribbons in like a dumpster. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check every dumpster I find. There's this building right here that I can't get in. Maybe we can get into that. There's also a couple green herbs scattered around here that I know I missed. And then maybe we'll just uh, maybe we'll just end it off after walking through all of that at the save room, and then we could start going to the sales office the next episode. Because after that, everything should everything in here should be searched, right? I don't think we need to go back inside the RPD, do we? I hope we don't. Also, yeah, we we heard some we heard something happen in this hallway last episode. Ah, crap. How do I get out of here? What am I missing? I'm missing something. I'm missing whatever this is. Because I've, I've gotten all these in order pretty much, except for this. Ah, oh, sweet. You're dead. Ah, oh, there are a lot of bodies behind me. And I don't really have that much ammo either. Well, as long as I keep on getting shots like that, that's pretty good. I'm, I have no ammo. I was told not to waste all of my stuff, but uh, I was told not. I feel like I'm wasting all my stuff. I did no. Did I grab the? Yeah, I grabbed the two things in there. Oh, I didn't kill any of those dogs either. Uh. There's a green herbs over here that I didn't pick up, right? I mean, I should just drop off this book. Should I? Yeah, there's a green herb here. 
I don't have the book. I don't have the book. I'll just take you. I feel like I I feel like I've put myself in a corner with all this all the gunfights I'm beginning into. I don't know. <laughs> this is on hard mode, so maybe it's supposed to be more difficult than I'm making it out to be. Ah! Uh, I thought I killed that thing! I don't have my shotgun, which I think I used last time. Ooh, I hear bullets. Oh! Wait, what was that? Oh, God! I hurt someone! <laughs> Where did the dogs go? Someone's over here. That sounded like it was white hair. Not to be culturally insensitive or anything, but he totally sounded like he had the accent that white hair had. And I don't know what his name is, so I'm just gonna call him white hair. Blue herb there. Was that a... Oh, uh, just probably just a sound effect. Oh yeah, there's this door right here, which I don't know how to get in. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. It's been a while since we saw Nemesis. And so I just, I just have a bad feeling about everything here. He was apparently bitten in the neck until he died. Dear's a dumpster. Oh. Oh God! <laughs> no, not the crows. This is gonna be terrible to come back through. Open up the door. I'm un I'm unleashing the horde in so many places. This is the door that. Oh, oh hold on. I'm right here. Nope. Will you take the fire hose? Yes. I've taken the fire hose. Sweet. Where am I at on the map? Okay, I'm about to head through this hallway. Which we saw weird things in before. I'm, uh, uh. We saw the weird things in here before, but we didn't get into a fight with them. Only imagine what that's like now. That helped. <laughs> I heard the crunching and I was like, I'm just gonna start shooting. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm running out of ammo. At least I killed them both. Do you have any ammo on you? Uh, I have six shots left. I really hope that Mr. Crate has some good things in him. With him, at least. In him. <laughs> Ooh, it sounds like there's a lot of, yep, there's zombies again. Get past, get past, get past. <laughs> All the police officers have left the building. I'm just going to do this now. So that I can put the fire hose away. Unless it just sticks here. What just happened? Where? Where did everything go? Wow, that took forever. <laughs> that was creepy. I was like, did I just break the game? Okay, so the fire hose completely disappeared. That's nice to know. I have to use my reloading tool to get some ammo. How much ammo do I have for my shotgun? I have seven. I could do this. I could bring my other pistol with me. Just for the time being. Gives me a couple more rounds. Just 
Just need to find ammo and dodge attacks. So I can go that way if I want to now. I'm not checking everything. There's a dumpster right there. I think right now my main goal is to get back to where I started. Which I guess the simple, the quickest way would be to go through the store and then go through the locked door. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Photo A! The policemen are pres pressing forward. I think it's dated September 27th. I think we saw that. I think it was part of that cutscene as well. I didn't know there was anything here. I was hoping I found bullets. I guess the photo's fine. Is that the missing photo I was missing? That is. Oh, God! Wow, that got me good! Oh, boy! Oh, that was the worst. That was the worst one I had so far. Oh, that just sounds lovely! Everything I do is being is getting worse. I've opened the lock. Good. <laughs> I'm so glad I wasn't locked out of this door. Everything I've done in every single room so far, I felt it has been a hindrance to me in later. <laughs> like, I'm going to come back here and it's just going to be a mess. All right, well, let's go up. Now we have the option to. What was that? Also, this door looks like it's about to break open. A red car is blocking the way. Ow, I think I hurt myself in the explosion. I did. <laughs> Who's screaming? So I could have totally went this way. I thought it was far enough from the explosions that it wouldn't hurt me. A red car is blocking the way. I need ammo and health, please. I don't want to use this other green herb because it's the only one I have left. All right, I think I'm I think I'm back to where I originally started in the warehouse. Oh. Great. I'm out of ammo. I did nothing to save this person. Who is she? She's dead. Uh, is that a good or a bad thing? I was told there was another good or bad ending depending on what I did. I feel like saving people would... That sounds lovely. Ooh. You know what? I think, I think Mr. Crate got... Got got. Oh, of course, there's one in the way here. His head off. I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna grab that shotgun. I'm gonna blow away. I'm also, really hurt. That uh, kept me at caution. I should just use the first aid spray. You're gonna go there. Do I need the wrench? I feel like I don't need the wrench. Although I still have it. I just put it down with the other things. If I find a use for it, I'll use it. I'm going through I'm going through so much ammo and so much health. I have more I have to fight Nemesis more. 
Like, all the times. Ugh. We're gonna see what's happening down here. Maybe I should have locked the door behind me. Oh boy, that's a lot of you. I wasted a couple rounds. Ugh, yeah, Mr. Crate got killed. Okay, that's not nice to say about him. I know you were saying about the items next to him, but you don't even get a chance to search his body. Use the crates open. Oh boy, he had a lot of things. Dario's memo. Dario's memo. I can't help but wonder if anyone will read these words, but writing them will help me maintain my sanity, if nothing else. After I've become a meal for those undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon discovering my corpse? So this is how it's supposed to end. I don't want to die. I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family has been killed. None of that matters anymore. Right now, my life is the only important thing. That's all that matters. I would never would have pictured my end to be like this. I had so much left to do, rather than becoming a salesman. I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. It's what I've always wanted, but my mother would only tell me you have a long way to go. Why did I ever listen to her? But, for looks like, but this looks like the end for the great Dario Rosso. Novelist extraordinaire, cut down before his prime. Oh, maybe he was bit, and that's why he ran away. I'll take the gunpowder A. How many of these does he have? Another gunpowder A. Oh, that's perfect. Pistol ammo. I feel like it's going to be wasted on pistols, though. He has two. What are these? Gunpowder Bs. I'll take all I can get. <laughs> Now I just gotta find some health throughout like all the mo all the zombies that are around here. Maybe I should start looking in at cheat codes. <laughs> I'm not gonna use cheat codes. Just give myself like 99 lives, even though that's not a thing for this game. Unlimited ammo would be nice. Well, let's see. I have all of these gunpowders. And they don't stack. I have this pistol here. If I had some more ammo, it would be pretty decent. I don't even know what to save these for. Or what I could what I should save them for. Oop, nope, hold on. Get me back in here. I need to... I need to take this. Alright, so what's the new plan? It's been 18 minutes. I still... What have I explored with this map? I went I went down here, through that, went through that. Distinguished the fire. Went down here. Took this route. Went around there. Exploded myself. Found, Mr. D found Dario's corpse over here. So now, I guess I just go back the way I came, but let's stop by over here. There were two herbs right here, right? Somewhere over here, there were some herbs. Basically, the, I, I checked all the dumpsters, I think. Unless there's a dumpster I missed around this section. Oh, but I didn't kill any of the zombies there the first time. What could possibly be there now? I'm nervous. If I die now, everything gets reset. At least if I die now, I give myself a second chance to go through this place. Maybe I might end up better if I die. So when we start up next episode, I'll be wherever I'm at, but at least I'll do have done everything and maybe I wouldn't have exploded myself. Maybe I might have more ammo. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, uh. There's only 
episode seven. <laughs> She's still here. She was so close to an unlocked door. She could have easily gone inside, like closed the door behind her. Oh, leave me alone. I'll go this way. I don't want to shoot anyone right now, since I only have four rounds in my shotgun. If it cannot be unavoided. Oh, I just ran face first into a person. Give me this green herb. I really hope I chose the right way. At least I found the green herb, so I got it. There's an extra health thing, which I might need to use sooner rather than later. What is that? Yeah, no, thank you. Uh. I do I, how many dogs are there? I just saw the one. This is a terrible camera angle. So going to die. No. <laughs> How did I live? <laughs> and I, I, uh, <laughs> that was that was ugly. That was really ugly. They're not gonna get, they're not gonna have anything on them. It's just blood here. <laughs> At least this seems clear now. The door to the boutique is locked. Oh, I don't have the ability to open up this door. I guess there's a boutique key around here. Ooh, this ladder went up. That's different. Passage completely blocked off. Well, I've almost completed a full loop around everything. I have less ammo than when I started. That sounds lovely. I ran into his arms. I'm gonna go bother going down there. Which way? Just get me out of here. You can end the episode off in the save room. You can contemplate what we're about to do. Oh boy! I forgot that people smashed through the windows here. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't run into anyone else's arms. Well, I picked up what I needed to do from Mr. Uh, Mr. Crate. I guess that's what I missed. I didn't see any. I didn't see any Ingribbins, but hopefully we don't need them. I mean, we still have like nine. I only have seven rounds left, and it's in my weaker pistol. I'll just put you away then, for the time being. Grab you, even though I haven't had Magnum ammo in the longest time.
Do I need the wrench? I might still need the wrench. We still have a lot to do and a lot more areas to explore. Like we have to go, well, we can go to the sales office next episode because we're right here. And now that we have this path is open, we can just head straight there. I really hope there's a lot of good things in there because I don't know what else I'd think, what, what else would happen. Over here, we have the substation, but we need to get through this room right here. And then that door right there is locked. Uh, there's the gas station, which is also locked. Maybe my lockpick can be useful. I don't know. We've already been through the press office and nothing there. I can't really think of anything else that we need to worry about. Oh, there's a lot of things we need to worry about, like the trip back. Uh, <laughs> same, there's no like fast travel points. Let me grab my uh, save it, save my ink ribbons. Maybe someone can give me some help in between this episode. I mean, the only help I've, I've really, I've kind of received is that don't use the the gunpowder, but now I have no ammo, so I feel like I should use the gunpowder. <laughs> I keep on being told there's stronger weapons, but I might not live to get that far. Ugh. So, that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Blind, maybe we'll do way better. We'll head over to head over to the sales office, find out what's over there. Mr. Whitehair went this way. Maybe we, maybe we can find out what happened to him. Oh, he probably went over here. That's probably where he went. How do you pass the fire? Or he went to the RPD. Or I'm just guessing because nothing happened with this door over here that looked like it was going to be blown off. That happened over here. Where did it happen? Where did it happen? It happened over, over here. No. Right here. This is what. That's where it happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. Until next time. Hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>